has God helped you in the months that are past? Have you received any help from God at all? If we put our trust in men, they can disappoint us. In fact, he tells us, man is limited. God of Jacob, who is our God, he lives forevermore. He is our helper. He is our helper. For anyone who we believe, the days have come. From wherever you are listening to me, God has sent me to you and to let you know you shall be remembered for favor i say you shall be remembered to be favor beginning and the end we bow before you today we thank you for your goodness in our lives we thank you for your favor we thank you for every good thing that you have done glory hallelujah to your name in Jesus name Lord we have come unto you we have come to know man we thank you for speaking to us we also ask that the grace to do your work you will grant unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, the hour has come to listen to your word. I have no word of mine to say, but blessed Holy Spirit, speak to me and through me in Jesus' name. Amen. Let there be salvation. Amen. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Let there be comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Let strength be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, at the end of it all, let all glory be yours and the blessing remain ours. For we have prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. We can be seated, please. Can you please let me greet your neighbor and say you are welcome to church today? Please greet somebody beside you, the other side, around you. Make them feel welcome to the house of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want us to take the Bible passage in Psalm 84. Please, can you do me a favor? Don't make your, face, your mask a sheen mask. Put it on very well. Hello. Okay. Put it on very well. Then I can remove mine to minister. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The text we are considering this month is in Psalm 84, and I'll be taking just a part of it. It's actually Psalm 84, 1 to 12. But let's read from verse 5 to 8. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca makes it a well. The rain also fills the post. They go from strength to strength, every one of them. In Zion appeared before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Praise the Lord. The second passage I'm going to read is in Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Have you not known... 
have you not had the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faint nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise the Lord. To me, this second theme for the month is a very good start. In January, we use the theme of the year. And I haven't spoken to ourselves about the great abundance. Now we are saying striving from strength to strength. Every one of us, we are on a journey. And it's a journey of life. But out of that journey comes slices and slices of it. And this year, 2021, we are also going on a journey. We have done a month and some days, remaining 10 months and some days. And so, to me today, yes, the theme for the month is striving from strength to strength. But I want us to look at strength for the journey. Strength for the journey. And what journey? The journey of 2021. Praise the Lord. Strength for the journey. We shall be doing lots of Bible passages today. Because somebody will be coming to pray using that Psalm 84. And the first thing I want us to realize is the fact that God is the source and the giver of strength. Don't forget we are looking at strength for the journey, for the journey of 2021. God is the giver of, is the source and the giver of strength. Let's open to Psalm 29, 11. Uh, media, I need you to please cooperate and be fast today. Psalm 29, 11. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 68, 35. God is the source and the giver of strength. Oh God, you are awesome from your sanctuary. The God of Israel himself gives strength and power to the people. Blessed be God. Who gives strength and power to his people? God. Psalm 10, 17. Psalm 10, 17. Oh Lord, you have had the desire of the humble. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear. Psalm 58, 11. Psalm 58, 11. And the Lord will continually guide you and satisfy your desire in such places and give strength to your bones. And you will be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Who is the source and the giver of strength? God himself. That I want us to have settled in our heart. And today... I know I'm just laying a foundation for the administration of this month. Other speakers will be coming to minister to us. And I'm looking at it from the spiritual angle. The strength for the journey. The strength for the journey of 2021. And the first thing I ask myself is this. Why do you need strength to carry you through this journey, through this year? Become, because you can become weary along the way. We can become tired. We can become discouraged. Because we can become weary, we can become tired, we can become discouraged. Because we can become bored along the way. Because we can come under attack of the enemy. So we need strength of the Lord to carry us through. What am I saying? Challenges can come within the year, but it should not meet us in a state of weakness. It should not meet us where? In the state of weakness. And last but not the least, because 
at the end of this year, you'll be better do, than the way we start it in Jesus' name. We will not end this year weak in the mighty name of Jesus because we are striving from strength to strength. Praise the Lord. The next question I ask is that what can make you weak? What can sap that strength of the Lord? And I have some of it listed. The first thing I see here is that sin can sap your energy, can sap your strength, can make you weak. So this year, make up your mind to flee from sin. And if you are still rising and falling in your sin, I beg you, please reconcile with God because sin will only make you weak, sap the strength in you. Praise the Lord. 1 Samuel 36. 1 Samuel 36. And I read from NIV. I want to take the last, the, the, the next three things that can make us weak or can sap our, our strength. David was greatly distressed because of the men who were talking, uh, talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord is God. Brethren, Losing confidence in the Lord can sap your energy, can sap your strength. If David had decided to sit back, lost the confidence he had in God, we will not be reading the story today. But the Bible says David decided to do what? He found strength. He encouraged himself. He found strength in the Lord his God. Complaining instead of praising this year, can make us to start becoming weak. Losing hope for the future. Ah, Emilele is jealous. What will become of me? That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Not allowing God to take full control. Brethren, let go and let God. Let do what? Let go and let God. And I've come to realize that letting go and letting God is giving up what is beyond your control to embrace what you can change. Embrace only what you can change. What is beyond your control, let go. Or else it will sap our energy, our strength. And that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. When we feel so sorrowful about things, it can be a godly one. It can be because of difficult circumstances. And situation around is not getting better. You know how we started 2020, what happened along the way. But this 2021 has shown us that, ah, this is a year that will be difficult for some, but will be easy for us in Jesus' name. But it depends on our attitude. In the name of Jesus. We often wonder, where do we get strength to face difficult challenges, difficult situations? But I want you to remember one thing. The Bible says, the joy of the Lord will be what? Our strength. In Nehemiah 10, 8-9, the Bible made us to realize that for all the people wept when they heard the words of the Lord. Then he said to them, that is Nehemiah, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those who, for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Indirectly, let nothing sap your joy, because it will sap your strength, no matter what. No matter what, let nothing what sap your joy because it will indirectly sap your energy. Surrounding ourselves with friends that will not add value to our life this year can sap our strength. Friends that are not that serious about God, friends that every else, everyone else is doing it. Be very weary of such friends this year in Jesus' name. 
they will not help us this year. Surround yourself, surrounding yourself with friends that will not add value to us this year will not help us to strive from strength to strength. Rather, they will make us weak. And that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Fear is another thing that can sap our strength. We are so, so afraid of the future. So, so afraid. And that is why the Lord said in Psalm 6, uh, 46, verses 1 to 6, He said, God is our refuge and our strength, and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not what? Fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake like they are surging. Fear can sap our strength. Brethren, this year, refuse to allow fear to overtake you. Whatever it is, settle it with the Lord. Praise the Lord. Being anxious can also make us weak. The Lord already said in Isaiah 41 10, He said, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be anxious, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my gracious right hand. You have the promise already. These are things that can sap our energy, that can sap our strength. And still looking at that, I said, if you are often frustrated, defeated, thinking about giving up, or actually do give up at times, then you are weak. If you are often frustrated, defeated, thinking about giving up, or actually do give up at times, then you are weak. And no wonder Proverbs 24 10 says, If you faint in the day of adversity, what happened? Thy strength is small. And no one will promise you that this year will be a bed of roses. But one thing that is sure is that you have the promise and the backing of God. And that is what I want us to rely on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How do we sustain our strength for the journey? That is where I'm actually going. How do we sustain our strength for the journey? We started by saying that God is the source and the giver of strength. Is that not it? Then it means that if you are outside God, Sustaining that power may be an impossibility. If God is the source and the giver of strength, then if we are outside God, then sustaining that strength might be an impossibility. God himself has chosen to be the source of strength to us when times are hard. And so let's enjoy it. If you have relied on God in the time past and God has been good, he has seen you out of it, why not continue to rely on him? Because there is no other person that can do it. We need to continually wait upon him. Why? Because that is when our strength will be renewed. We need to do what? Continually wait upon him. Like I said, I'm only laying the foundation for this month's ministration. So a strong belief and hope grounded in the scripture can give us strength. A st strong belief and hope grounded in the scripture can give us strength. And it's this same strength that the psalmist in Psalm 138 wrote when he says, As soon as I pray, you answered me. You encouraged me by giving me strength. So there is need for us to continually call upon him for strength. Remember we are talking about strength for what? Strength. Strength. Journey of what? 2021. Journey of 2021. So if you must sustain that strength, if you must strive from strength to strength, then I tell you, the first thing is to be a friend of God to wait upon him 
after all, he is the source and the giver of strength. Secondly, in contrast to what I said earlier, you must surround yourself with great friends, strong Christians with strong faith. A friend that can give you courage. A friend that can help you to go on and not give up. A friend that will speak faith to your life, not friends that will bring you down. Let's open to 1 Samuel 23, 16. 1 Samuel 23, 16. 1 Samuel 23, 16. And Saul's son, Jonathan, went to David. So, your son, uh, Saul's son, Jonathan, went to David at Oreb and helped him to find what in God? Help him to find strength in God. Help him to find strength in God. And he said to him, don't be afraid, he said. My father Saul will not lay a hand on you. You will be king over Israel and I will be second to you. That is serious. Even when my father Saul knows this, the two of them made a covenant before the Lord. Then Jonathan went home, but David remained at Oresh. Jonathan helped Saul to do, uh, David to do what? To find strength in the Lord. He strengthened him. This year, surround yourself with friends that will strengthen you. That's another way to sustain the strength of the Lord. That's another way to, to strive from strength to strength. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Hebrews 10, 23 to 25. Hebrews 10, 23 to 25. Let us hold on severally to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. And giving, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. We normally use this for our gathering together. But please, this year, surround yourself with friends that we encourage you your faith and will strengthen you. There's nothing out there. Most of us complain. We stay this uh, number of hours in the church. That's where you have comfort, at least for some. But out there, you might not be able to get it. So let's continue to stay together to encourage one another. Praise the Lord. I also see that we need to find strength in the word of God. We need to do what? Find strength in the word of God. If you must have strength for this journey in 2021. And that will lead me to a testimony of somebody. This person became somebody in life. But every other person around him were looking down on him. And so that depleted his strength in the Lord. That depleted his zeal to move on. And he was also being drawn back, becoming weak. But his testimony was that he decided to start looking into the word of God to find strength. He decided to continue looking in the word of God to, and refuse to be weak, refuse to be put down. Because I can tell you something. There are some that will use the word of their mouth to put you down. There are some that the action will put you down. And what did they find? In 1 Corinthians 1, 27 to 29. 1 Corinthians 1, 27. The Holy Spirit can minister any passage of the Bible to you. But you got this. And he said, in that passage especially the NLT. It says, Instead, God chose things the world considers foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. God chose things despised by the world, 
things counted as nothing at all and use them to bring to nothing what the world considers important. As a result, no one can ever boast in the presence of God. And he gained his confidence back. He gained his strength back. The word of God is a good place to receive strength. And so he concluded by saying that he has been able to do one thing through the word of God. And in accordance to Psalm 16, 8, he said, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Will that be your confession this year? Or will you, be, will you allow people or things around you to put you down? Will that be your confession this year? So one way to receive strength is by reading the word of God and being reminded of the character of God and his truth. Being reminded of the character of God and his truth. And today as we are rounding up, I want to also look at some that is related to strength. First, Isaiah 41.10. Isaiah 41.10 Media Isaiah 41.10 I want us to read it And it says Do not fear For I am with you Do not be dismayed For I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my righteous hand Is that in your Bible? When fear comes What do you use to attack it? The word of God because it will come. This year has started on a very rough note. I must let you know that. It will surely come. But the Lord is saying, do not be dismayed. Do not fear. Why? I will strengthen you. All you need is the strength of the Lord to face every situation that comes your way. Philippians 4, 12 to 13. Philippians 4, 12 to 13. Philippians 4, 12 to 13. And it says, I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether well fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or in want. And 13 says, I can do some things. Part of it. Through him who does what? Strengthens me. Let that be your confession as you go into the year. I can do all things. I tell you, challenges will come. Things will come to challenge you. To make us weak. But we should be able to use the word of God to combat it. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 2 Thessalonians 3.3 2 Thessalonians 3.3 It says... But the Lord is faithful. And he will do what? Strengthen and protect you from the evil. What is going on in Nigeria now? Banditry. Hensmen attack. Kidnapping. So many things. But the Lord said he is what? Faithful. And he will strengthen you and protect you from, e from the evil one. Is that in your Bible? Praise the Lord. Passages that we need to hold on to, to be strengthened and to go from strength to strength. Isaiah 40, 29. Isaiah 40, 29. He gives strength to who? And increases the power of? He gives strength to? And increases the power of? Praise the Lord. Paraventure along the way, things will become so rough and will start getting weak. The Lord is saying, I give strength to the weak, to the weary, and I increase the power of the weak. And to further support that, in 2 Corinthians 12 10, in 2 Corinthians 12 10, NIV. 2 Corinthians 12, 10. 
Paul wrote and say that that is why for Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses, in insult, in hardship, in persecution, in difficulty. For when I am weak, then I am what? That is the word of somebody who has fully surrendered to God. So uh, his weakness is not in weakness per se, but he's seen that weakness in the light of God's power. Is living through the power of God. We need to give God the opportunity to use his strength as he lives through us. Praise the Lord. As I start to round up this ministration, I want you to know that it's a lie to think that Christian's life is, an, is easy without trouble. Let's face it. Ask Job in the Bible. Ask Moses. Ask David, ask Paul himself. But the advantage we have as Christians is the promise of God to help us in times of difficulty. And these are difficult times. The Bible says in Psalm 34, 19 to 20, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord does what? Delivers them from it all. Proverbs 24, 16 says, For a just man faileth how many times? Seven times. And it does what? Rise up again. So however difficult the situation may be, the Lord is already there. I want you to know that our difficulties does not exceed others. They may just come in different kinds, different shapes, different sizes. Praise the Lord. So we must continually reject the temptation to be discouraged or to quit. Instead, we should stand and conduct ourselves like men. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Watch ye, stand fast in faith, quit you like men, and be strong. Praise the Lord. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet because very soon we'll be praying using Psalm 84. I want you to commit yourself to God's hand. There's a journey that we are going on. A journey of 2021. Have we started it? Do we want to complete it? In weakness? In strength? In the name of Jesus. I want you to cast your mind back to what the Lord has spoken to us today. What are the things that can make us weak? Ask the Lord for grace. How do we sustain the strength? Ask the Lord for grace. Open your mouth and start to pray. Seeing God as a source and the giver of strength. Seeing God as a source and the giver of strength. Let's ensure that we run away from everything and anything that will make us weak this year. It's not when the situation becomes tough that we start looking for how to be strong. No. You face every situation from an advantage position of being strong, of strength. Lord, help me. Whatever will sap my strength this year, help me to run away from it. Help me to run away from it. Remember that there are some people in the Bible, they didn't make it alive. Their strength got deflated. They became weak. The story of Samson, even though you got it back, but it was too late. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. So the more reason why we start to pray now, whatever will sap my strength this year, that will make me pray to the evil one. Baba, help me in the name of Jesus. Help me in the name of... Let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to sustain the strength of the Lord. Help me to sustain the strength of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed all, and all ears bow. You are here, you have listened to me today. And your heart is condemning you and telling you that you are not the one they are talking to. Because if God is the source and the giver of strength, you cannot have it. Are you there? You just want to make peace with God. 
You want to reconcile with this God. All eyes closed, all ears bow. I want you to lift up your hands and say, Lord, help me. I want to reconcile with you. Do I have any? Help me, Lord. I want to reconcile with you. Help me, Lord. I want to reconcile with you. Because outside you can be no strength. Help me, O oh Lord. I want to reconcile with you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Secondly, I want to also make this call. Wherever, where you are, you are saying to me, the strength in me has been deflected. I'm becoming weak and I need prayer. Are you there? Just lift up your hand where you are. I want to pray with you. I need to be strengthened once again. I need to be strengthened once again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for those hands. I need to be strengthened again. I need the strength of the Lord from within. If I must make it through this year, I need the strength of the Lord to make it through this year. Thank you for those hands, Lord. Thank you for those hands, Lord. Thank you for those hands. Just as you are there, I want you to lay your hands on your chest. And I want you to say, Lord, Holy Spirit, help me. I need to receive your strength again. I need your strength to make it through to this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that has made you weak. But I need the strength of the Lord to make it through this year 2021. I need the strength of the Lord. Is it spiritual? Is it financial? It could be anything. But I need the strength of the Lord. I need the strength of the Lord to make it through this year. I need the strength of the Lord to make it through this year. Help me, O oh Lord. 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 Holy Spirit, help me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, for as many as are laying their hands on their chest, I agree with them, Lord, that your strength will become their strength in the name of Jesus. Every area of weakness, Baba, fill it up now in the name of Jesus. Every area of weakness in their lives, fill it up now in the name of Jesus. Fill it up now in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified in their lives. You will make it through this year 2021 strong in the name of Jesus. You will make it through this year 2021 strong in the name of Jesus. And you will strive from strength to strength as you go on to 2022. Thank you, everlasting Father. And for the remaining of us, we say, Lord, help us, O Lord. Grant us the grace to shun from whatever it is that can sap our strength and hold on to things that will strengthen us. This we ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' name.